All righty. Well, another day, another record high in gas prices. It seems every day we hit a new record, right, in the Biden era. AAA says the, na the nationwide gas average is now at about 48 a gallon, uh, $4.48, I should say. That's nearly $1.50 more than a year ago. And while prices are rising, President Biden's poll numbers, well, they are falling. A new NBC News poll puts his job approval rating at a paltry 39%. While 56% of Americans now disapprove, that's a near 180 from about a year ago. And instead of attacking the problems facing our country, the president chooses to go after what's called the ultra MAGA Republicans. Under my predecessor, the great MAGA king, and what did the MAGA crowd want to do? I never expected the ultra MAGA Republicans to have been able to control the Republican Party. This MAGA crowd is really the most extreme political ex organization that's existed in American history. So uh, a lot of people were wondering the origin of this ultra MAGA Republican <laughs> phrase. Um, well, Jen Psaki told us one thing. President Biden again told us another. Let's watch. There's a question on messaging. Who came up with this phrase ultra MAGA? Uh, why the need to, to kick it up a notch? Well, MAGA wasn't enough. I mean, why now use this phrase? I, I will tell you is the, is the president's phrase and the president uh, it's made those comments himself um, just last week, as you know. And I think what has struck him is how extreme some of the policies and proposals are that a certain wing of the Republican Party that is taking up too much of the Republican Party are, are for. And so to him, adding a little ultra to it, give it a little extra pop. Mm. A little extra pop. Well, it was actually the Washington Post who told us the real story. Um, they said it was a work of Anita Dunn and other advisors. It took six months of a focus group, Kennedy, to come up with ultra MAGA Republican. It wasn't yeah. Biden who just invented it. And you could tell he was reading prompter when he was like, it's those ultra <laughs> MAGA Republicans. Uh, uh, you, you could tell he was reading prompter. So it wasn't just, yeah. you know, something that he gave it an, an extra corn pop, as it were. Uh, he, didn't, he didn't invent that. They're trying to do whatever they can to energize their base, uh, which is growing incredibly depressed by the day. They are giving up on the president. Republicans are giving up on the president. But most importantly, and these polls, whether it's Ipsos or Monmouth or this NBC News poll where, you know, Jen Psaki is going to MSNBC. So even uh, that familiar territory to Democrats uh, they are not giving him, their polling is showing that he does not have high marks. And when you lose independence, when the House and Senate are this close, you are in real, real trouble. So you can come up with, with all the shellacked phrases you want when it's energizing the other side even more than the people you're trying to demonize. You got some messaging problems in addition to your inflation, immigration, economic problems that are growing by the day. They are. Emily and Axios reporting that they're kicking into high gear in the White House. In fact, President Biden's telling White House aides to shift into campaign mode. People with, familiar with the conversations tell Axios that even a small mistake, the president says, can be costly. Very true. The bottom line, they say, Biden confidants tell Axios he's at his best delivering political zingers when he actually believes them. I don't think he's at his best because MAGA world has weaponized this ultra MAGA mm -hmm. phrase. You know, president Trump out with that Lord of the Rings image that we talked about like people are embracing the term exactly I think it's having the absolute polar opposite effect than they would like but I think what what is so uh, disheartening as an American regardless of, of which party we're a part of is seeing this administration literally freak out over what strategy are we supposed to employ so that we can stay in power all you have to do is actually exhibit some some modicum of leadership how about you actually stand up and, and decrease regulations you help young mothers you you actually address the problems that Americans care about about, which are everything that Kennedy listed, right? And, and inflation in the economy, the southern border that we just had breaking news on, there are real crises affecting every single household in America. So I would like to see just a bit mm -hmm. of some actual solutions coming forth from this White House. And the six months they spent figuring out that term would have probably been better spent actually coming forth with actionable solutions for the American people to stop their suffering.
Pete, they talk a lot about President Trump when it comes to these primaries in various states and who he's endorsed and who he's not endorsed. Less is focused on President Biden and the Associated Press rightly pointing out that these primaries are as much a referendum on President Biden. And they point to this week in Pennsylvania, Connor Lamb, the, the moderate candidate, seems to be losing to John mm -hmm. Fetterman, the radical. Um, he's not having a good showing in the primary, certainly not in the general. It's no, and, and, and Donald Trump is uh, the great MAGA king. Yes. <laughs> If he could have chosen a nickname himself, he probably would have chosen that one. Probably. Probably. <laughs> yes. So when you a thank you. Exactly. <laughs> when you're trying to disparage someone, but you actually compliment them, yeah. that's what they did. Uh, and, and and Trump's support for candidates who otherwise would have had no shot, JD Vance was going to lose. Mehmet Oz may may win, may not, but without the endorsement, probably does not. Uh, has been a game changer. So I, I just I'm just baffled. You have. People with probably fancy degrees getting paid a lot of money to consult, and they sat in a room, probably like this, and said, How about we go with Ultra Mega? <laughs> I think that's what that'll do. It sounds like a light beer. It sounds like a light beer. It does, but that'll really low get carb, it. Low carb beer. Ultra Mega. <laughs> to that I mean, point, that's how bad calories. they are. <laughs> they're bad at it, you know, and they're obsessed with Trump. So true. And even the Washington Post pointed out, you know, Clinton, she tried deplorable, which may be better than ultra MAGA, but Trump was able to like turn that around against her and like make t shirts that said deplorable. Right. Give him People a superlative proud, in front of his brand. Yeah. Yeah. And like, of course he's going yeah. to embrace that. Yeah, no, I mean, the deplorables. I mean, I think actually his followers loved it. They love these titles. Yes. And, and yeah, he is doing Trump a favor. And rather than him constantly bring up the failures of the past president, why doesn't he focus on his own personal failures? I mean, between inflation and the border. And gas prices and supply chain issues, the list goes on and on. And then, if he takes a look at the problems here in his own country, number one, his 39% approval rating, which is only 5% higher than Trump's lowest, which happened to be at the end of his presidency, at the height of the pandemic. Here we are two years later, and now the U.S. has surpassed 1 million COVID U.S. deaths in our country. Why isn't he focusing on that? 1 million U.S. deaths, but yeah, let's, let's attack the former president. You raise a great point. More deaths from COVID 19 on President Biden's watch right. and on President Trump's, and you don't often hear about. And that was the cause for Trump's low approval rating, by the way. The, he exited at 34 percent because how the American public viewed his dealing of COVID. Now look where we yeah, are. Yeah, great point. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.